Hey y'all, today we're gonna do a um, classroom haul. So I just wanna start this video by saying, you don't need to go out and buy anything and everything for your classroom. Um, honestly, I would first find out what your school is um, providing you and if they can provide you anything additional. Um, I know my school is really good at uh, supplying any supplies that we need. So um, any supplies that I do buy, um, I buy because I want them myself. Um, like a lot of those um, color of the world markers, I go and buy those myself and all those things. So um, a lot of things you're gonna see today are things that um, I did get a bit of a bonus at the end of the year um, for something. So uh, a lot of this that you're about to see is stuff that I purchased with that bonus. I'm not saying that you need to go out and buy this right now. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just sharing what I have bought from my classroom and I'm going to say it is a lot. Um, but it's my money and it's what I want to do with my money. So here we go. Okay. The first thing is every year I always get a new lanyard for my, um, classroom. And this year I went with JDL custom creations. It was on Etsy. So this is it. JDL custom creations. So, um, and I'll show you what I got. So I, uh, in the past couple years, I've gotten like um, cheetah print themed or something like that. This year, I wanted to do something a bit different. Um, so, oh, here's the card too. Let me make sure there's no promotion code or anything. Yes, okay. So here's the card from them if you're interested. Um, yeah, I got them, I got it through Etsy. I just, I literally just went on Etsy and typed in teacher lanyards and this is what I picked up. So I got to pick my bead colors. So I wanted like an ombre look. So I did that with pink because pink is my favorite color. I like the snap ones because it's easy to put on, snap off. Um, and it's easy for me to just like pull it if I need to give it to a kid. It's just easier than having to go over my head sometimes with my high bun. So, and then this is what I got. So it's a, it's a crown and it says Mrs. Hempill and it's so freaking cute and look at that beautiful glitter so and then it has a little hook and it has a little part for you to like put your keys on so that is it this is where I'll put my ID badge and this is where I'll put everything else so I do want to say that I have a couple things that haven't showed up I did get one of those jars the um oh gosh I cannot for a lot remember who they're from but I did get one of those jars, those like reward jars that are really popular. I got one of those. I haven't even got a shipping notification for that. Um, it's been over a month, so we'll see. I know she's really busy with back to school. You know, she always gets like all these orders. Um, I bought the sprinkles one, I will say that. And I wish I would have waited because I started researching her shop a little bit more and realized, oh, by the way, if you hear anything in the background, my mom, my daughter is um, being distracted with um, her iPad right now. She's uh, downloaded this like game thing. I'm actually paying for it every month and she's been loving it and it is so good. It's got like all these songs in it. So these games that are like, move the circle shape here or, you know, things like that. Um, it's very age appropriate. So it's, it's things that I put her age in and everything and it's wonderful for that. So um, love it. She's been loving it too. Um, it's also got things that she can color on there. So I put her on that, that game for a little bit while I could do this. But anyway, so what I was saying is I realized that she does a custom on her website. So depending on if I like the sprinkles or not, I might go back on and just do a custom, um, and see, see how that goes. So, um, but I did just buy the regular size jar and I bought the, I got the sprinkles one because it had a pink jar. And I really wanted the pink jar. So, okay, this is everything that I've picked up from Hobby Lobby. I tried to separate everything in bags. So I have like boxes all over here. I got stuff behind me. Like this is my dining room and I've taken over with my school stuff. So let's go over these things. So the first thing is something that you saw on like a pro with me. I bought these big jumbo uh, popsicle sticks and I turned them into my choice sticks. So. I bought the big jumbo ones that they had. Um, I bought some, a note from a teacher. I used to like to get these from the dollar spot, but I haven't seen them in forever. So I picked them up from Hobby Lobby. Um, I, in, I bought a pack of these two years ago. Well, I ended up making five groups this past year and I needed another one. So I just picked up another bag of these. I like to use these for um, when we're doing paint. 
um, at their tables. It keeps the paint in there really well. It's better than a flimsy paper plate that just like messes up. So I bought two of these. I'm gonna put my um, teammates' names on them. So I got two of their little pencils. Oh, this was $2.99, the, these. These were $4.99 each. This was $3.99, so. I will try and share prices if I have them. Um, I bought some bookmarks. I'm the reading teacher, so I love to keep bookmarks in my library for them. Um, $1.99 for that. Um, I bought another magnetic eraser. I had one of mine um, break this past year, so $2.99. Um, I bought some of the desk pet domes. I don't know if I'm gonna do desk pets, but if I do, I wanted these in my like stash. So it's $2.99. And if I do, it'll only be with my homeroom. So that will be perfect. I got some of these for my block set. It's $6.99. So it's just um, different like, I got, it has a school bus, an ambulance, a police officer, and then the different places that go with it, and a taxi, and some people. So I thought it would be perfect for them. So, um, did I say that was, yeah, I told you, $6.99. Um, I did, I don't know the price of this because I lost my paper, but I did get my fabric to go around my desk. This is the new fabric I'm gonna go with this year. I tried to find the exact same fabric that I had this past year. They didn't have it. Well, they did. They didn't have enough. Um, so they only had like not even a yard, she said. So, okay. Then I got some erasers. So I got $2.99, these fun erasers that they had. I picked up, oh, those are all my erasers, really? Okay. Um, and then I picked up some stickers. I got some star student stickers. I got one for each class, $1.99. So I have three classes. Um, I'll pick like a, I call it a VIP or Explorer of the Week, but they don't have that, so I do that. Um, I got the birthday stickers, $1.99. I got the birthday bands that I give my homeroom, $3.99. I got this cool thing I'm gonna throw in my writing center with some fun pins and stuff. This was $4.99. And I got two packs of these from our writing center as well, the display. They're $3.49 each. They just have little pencils. I thought it'd be cute for the writing display. And then I needed one more of these for the since I only bought four of these last year, I never went and bought another one. I use these for like their trash bins for their tables. Um, and this was $4.99. So, and this was a lot of the, this was on sale because it was their spring line. And all that was on sale when I went for like, I think 50% off. So that is everything from Hobby Lobby. So let's move on to the next one. So I'm just going to throw everything back in there. Okay. Um, this one is, um, oh gosh, half price books. So I picked up a couple different half price books. So let me just pull this out. So I got a couple of different, and this was, I think every book was like $1.99 is what I spent on it. No, this one was 50 cents. Um, but these I got, I have this series, the Magic Tree House series. And I just, I didn't have these. So I got the Thanksgiving one. Um, I got the stage fright on a summer night. Oops. And I didn't have the twister on Tuesday. So I picked those up. All the other ones that they had of this series already had. So didn't get them. I got a ton of the level readers. I mean a ton. I tried to up my nonfiction game. So I have a ton of nonfiction ones. So I got Amazing Tigers. I got I'm That Girl. Uh, Pokemon. My kids were obsessed with Pokemon. So anytime I saw a Pokemon book, I usually pick it up. Um, a Scooby-Doo one, I got a Smurf one, a Star Wars one. I had one or two kids that really liked Star Wars last year, so I wanted to up my Star Wars game. Um, another Bug one, Whales, got the Monsters, Inc. I got a Fly Guy book. I got a Frozen book, an Inside Out book, Earth in Danger, and a Flat Stanley one. And the last one I got was this cute one. It says, First Grade Stinks. How stinking adorable is that? This one was one ninety five. All, $1.95. All these were $1.99. So, okay, that is everything that I picked up from them. They had a ton of books, but I did not want to. I could have spent all day in there looking through all their books because it was so unorganized, but I didn't. Okay. Next, this is from Walmart. So, let me move this box. Okay. So, the first thing I will share with you because it's not in this box. Um, there's a couple things actually. So I picked up, like I've bought many years, I picked up my cube, my ottoman storage. I got two of these because I had two that broke this year. Well, one didn't really break, um, but they started peeling the top off of it. So I got rid of it. Okay. 
And then I got this lamp. Looks like this, it's a table lamp. And then I bought another floor lamp. Oh wait, I don't have a picture of it, but I bought another floor lamp. It's exactly like the one that I had last year. Hi baby, are you not distracted anymore? Okay, you can come in here if you want. Okay. And then the next couple things I picked up. So, um, the, some of these, a couple of these are for my Explorer of the Week. So, I got these fun ones for my Explorer of the Week. I got these for my Explorer of the Week. These were on sale for $3.50. Awesome. Um, got these for Explorer of the Week. And, oh, these for Explorer of the Week. And then a couple crown boxes for Explorer of the Week. I try and, like, um, redo their crowns every year. So, I picked up the Jumbo Crowns, Ooh, sorry, for the Explorer of the Week. And then I got um, the Colors of Kindness, Bold and Bright Crowns, and I got the Confetti Crowns. You want to you sit right here? Okay, come sit right here. You guys sit on your bottom though, okay? Okay. Yeah, you can play with that if you want. Okay, and then, so the other thing that I picked up was I picked enough, uh, enough up of these for each class, each desk each table to have a color of the world. Same thing with my normal matte pencils. We don't put matte pencils on our classroom uh, or our supply wish list because um, I'm the only one that really likes matte pencils. So I don't make the other teachers put it. Our class list is for all of first grade. I don't think the other teachers do it. So I don't mind buying it. Um, I can find them on sale most of the time. And then I picked up the color of the world crown boxes. I got five of these enough for each table to have their own box. Actually, I got six enough for each table to have their own crown box and then me to have mine because I didn't have the colors of the world last year and the kids always made fun of me. So, or I had to always borrow theirs. So, the other thing I picked up was some light bulbs for my um, lights that I have and then I got, so at Walmart, they have the cute little octopus that you can reverse. So, I, I got him and my daughter's wanting him. You can have the octopus. Okay, so that was everything from Walmart, I think. Yes. So I'm just gonna throw all this stuff back in here. Um, I'm going up to my classroom next week, so this is kind of why I wanted to go ahead and do this haul. Otherwise, I would have waited on all the other stuff. Like I said, I have, um, I have some magnetic. I have more magnetic um, curtain rods coming, and then I have my germ stuff for the germ thing and then i have i think that's it and then the reward jar that i told you so i think that's it that i have coming oh no i think i have a book coming i don't know okay this is everything from target so i got this fun pillow because i loved the world and i do social studies so i thought this was perfect um i needed a couple more pillows for my um whatever it's called. Yeah. Hey, can you go close your iPad for me and then you can come back? Can you go shut it? Go shut your iPad and then you can come back, okay? Go do that for me. Okay. Um, I picked up two of these because this is all my Target had. So I got two of those um, for just some, you know, flexible seating, seat cushions. I picked up this for my writing center because I love the different spots that it had and that it spun for the, ta the table. This was five dollars these were a dollar each um this was i don't know how much everything was from walmart this was five dollars for this pillow okay i got a couple more of these my my target didn't have uh, these are a dollar each uh, mine didn't have the clear ones so i don't know if maybe the clear ones were a thing this year but i always pick a couple a couple of these up every year um i always pick up band-aids so i got some transformer band-aids um, and then I got a couple of like Cincy for my Calm Corner stuff. So I got these for my Calm Corner, $3. I got this for my Calm Corner, it's a dollar. It's a giraffe, I had to. Um, and then I got two of these um, fidget spinners. So they were a dollar each. That's all they had. I was gonna get more of those um, so I could use them in a center, but that's all they had. I'm gonna put this, it's gonna have erasers in it in my writing center. This was $3. Um, actually my best friend picked this up for me so I have to buy this it was five dollars but I got it and then I got two of the turn-in bins because I needed them they are three dollars each so 
that was everything from Target, I believe. So um, that was my Target haul. <laughs> okay, and then next, um, I guess let's do Mardell's, which is our teacher store here in town. And then I will share Um, I think Amazon's the only thing I have after Mardell's. So, oh no, I have Michael's too. Let me share Michael's because I only got one thing from there. I picked up this. It's the 10 drawer cart. So, I'm going to use that for word work this next year. Or not word work, fast finishers this next year. Do you want it back? Love you. Okay. Mardell's, which is our teacher store here in Texas. Or I, I don't know if they have anywhere else, but we have it here in Texas. Okay. So I got the, okay. They had this beautiful, like baby pink color of this. So I got this size. I felt like I could use this a lot. And I got this really tiny size. So I don't know what I'm using them for, but I got them. Okay. I picked up a couple games. So I picked up the Sight Word 2. I haven't, the pop game. My kids loved the pop games last year. I picked up this Digging Up Sight Words game. This was on sale. So that's why I got it. Um, I got Possum. It was on sale too. So I got it. Uh, I did get another eraser from there because I forgot that I got the one from Target. Or not from Target. From my husband's home. So, okay. I got some Wild Animal Stickers. And then I picked up, they had some really fun scratch and sniff stickers. Hang on one second. I'm going to apologize for any background noise, but my husband's home, my daughter is excited, so they're together. Okay, so I got three of the whipped cream. They're the birthday ones. They say happy birthday on them. These are so cool and they actually smell like it. I got popcorn and this smells exactly like popcorn, y'all. Oh my God. Smells exactly like popcorn. Um, and then these are all the different ones that they have. Like they have tons of different ones there. And um, these are all the same. Yeah, so, so cool. Madison, you're not going in there, baby. Okay, and then this is the bubble gum one. So, so cool. So I got that. And then this is for my Explorer of the Week. And this is for my Explorer of the Week. So I got some, they're wild, um, Smins. Uh, they're smelly. They are. They're pins. They're scented pins. And I thought that would be fun for my Explorer of the Week. Um, and then I got this fun, fluffy pin for my Explorer of the Week. So, okay. And then, of course, I picked up my birthday pencils. I get enough for my homeroom. <coughs> and then they had a ton of different animal stuff. Uh, erasers. So I got this assorted animal erasers. I got this one from them. Oh, it's the same pack I got from. Ugh. Oh, well, it's the same pack that I got from my or Hobby Lobby. And I got this one with different um, assorted um, food and then more animals. So, okay. And then the last thing I picked up were these. I'm going to use these for my, these were I believe these were $7.99. Um, I'm gonna use these for our um, uh, reading notebooks. So I think they'll fit perfectly like this. Um, but I picked up two in each color just in case because I do color coordinate. So one of the things to help keep me like sane is I color coordinate everything in my class. So I know that this is this group, this is this groups. So um, that is what I do. Okay, so there we go. That is, oh no, that's not everything from them, hang on. Okay, so the other things I picked up from them are, okay, I picked up two different sets of paper. So I just needed to get another pack of this. It's just the Fadeless um, polka dot one got white with the polka dots and then I picked up this for my seasonal board just wanted something really neutral for that board so 
And this is the Better Than Paper one. And then the last couple things I picked up from them were, I just got this fun border. So that's it. That is it from Mardell's. Ooh. Amazon is the last place that I have to share with you for my classroom haul. So the first thing, which is sitting right here, um, this big box right here is a set of five stools that I got for my writing table. So that's that. The next thing is I picked up this big pocket chart. It's going to be my sticker store. So there's that. Um, let's look. Okay, so in here... I have the magnetic spice racks. That's what this is. Oh, magnetic spice racks. Okay. Um, oh, these were not, these were from Timu. I got the dinosaur, some dinosaur stickers, and then some bluey stickers um, for my sticker store. Hey. Oh, you're going down your slide. Okay. That's fine. Um, everything else is from Amazon. So this is, um, I had the idea of doing, I don't know if someone else has done this, but. Um, I have the idea of doing like if they make a hundred dollar test or if they reach their, hey, sit. Thank you. If they reach a, uh, their goal for AR or whatever, I got this cheers button for them to like hit the cheers button to celebrate themselves. So I got that. I thought it was so fun. Um, I got a date stamper. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, but I got that to stamp the date on things. Um, what is this? Oh, okay. I will show you what this is if it has a picture. This is a rack. Oh, it's a headband rack. So I can hang up my ears for my small group a lot easier. So I got that. That's what this is. And then, okay. <clears throat> Picked up these. These are just the e-writing boards. So I got a two-pack and then a four-pack. So I have enough for um, six kids in my small group. Okay. And then I picked up this black pocket chart um this is going to be for my <laughs> vocabulary cards i think um, and i picked up a smaller one for my writing wall so i got that one for the writing wall it's just a small one it's like this big um, maybe a little bigger but um i got some of this small pouches but uh, i'm going to use them for stem bins this year i'm changing up how i'm doing my stem bins okay oh these are cool y'all so these are, they're bingo, they're labeled as bingo uh, magnet, they're a bingo magnetic kit. I got them for sounds. So they manipulate each sound with one of the chips. So like at, put a chip for each sound and then they wave the wand over it to say cat. So got, um, I got a pack of five. So hopefully I don't have a group any bigger than five. Um, so. That's what I got, and I'm so excited about these. I think this is just gonna be a great, like, small group thing to have. Um, and then this is, oh, Play-Doh. So I got a class set of Play-Doh because I think I'm gonna do Play-Doh in the morning. Um, I did morning tubs in the past, but um, with us switching, the morning tubs just kinda, so I got two packs of those, so two packs of Play-Doh. Um, the morning tubs just kinda took a little too much time that we just didn't have. Um, I got two packs of my animal suckers. I like to use these for Meet the Teacher, so that is what those are. Okay, I got the little um, UV flashlight to use for the, um, oh gosh, what is it called? The thing she does. Mrs. Calls Campers does like this whole germ thing, and I saw her do it last year, and I want to do it this year. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is my tack tacky stuff so I got two packs tack it I got two little things of it okay and then I got ugh, this is not what I thought it was gonna be so I thought I, last year I bought a pack of the little like clothespins and they were like about that big which is perfect and that's what I thought these were they're like the tiniest things ever y'all like look at how tiny that is so, not what I thought it was going to be, but it might still work. It also came with um, 
yarn or not yarn twine I don't know what it's called um okay I got a class set of animal pencils so to start the year off they're gonna get one of those fun pencils I got another pack of these um I have a pack in my room but I bought a couple more lights so I think I'm gonna need another pack so um I got what is this? oh I got those small like um I'm going to use one of these. I know where I'm going to use one of them. One of them is going to be for my um, sprinkles. I'm going to put my sprinkles in there, but it's the magnetic little pockets, the tiny pockets. So, um, and then I don't know what the other one's going to be for. Can't figure it out yet. So we'll see. Okay, so I got those. And then I got the um, third, fifth book, five, volume five of the Elephant and Piggy books. I absolutely love those books. Okay, and then I ended up getting Don't Squill Unless It's a Big Deal. I use this book every year. And then this is the Germ versus Soap book that I got to do for beginning of the year. Um, I got the Spotted Game for an indoor recess thing. And then, oh, I'm going to do this last. Okay, the other stuff. This is for my, whatever that word is called. Um my treasure box. So I picked up a pack of the bands in case the kid doesn't have any, um, whatever it's called. Um, oh my gosh, Crocs. Um, I got some bluey ones. My kids love bluey. I got just a variety of different ones. Um, I had a couple more in my, um, wish list. And then this is another variety of different ones. It's got like Coco Melon, Piglet, um, I think this was more so like TV characters and this is just like random. It's got like football, cars, one says hello. Um, it's got like a unicorn in here of flowers. So this is like just general and this is like characters. Okay. Okay. So the last thing I have to share with you guys, and this is something that I am super excited about. <clears throat> I struggled this past year with trying to figure out how to get kids to not come to me during small group. It didn't matter what I taught them, what procedures I had set in place. They just kept coming up to me. So this year I got this little thing and it's one of those things that you see when you go to a restaurant and they give you this little buzzer. I haven't put any, I haven't set this up or anything. They give you this little buzzer and then it buzzes with your number. So the kids are gonna come grab their buzzer and whenever I have a spare second, I will buzz them to come to my room or my desk so I can answer their question or help them or whatever they need. So I thought that was so fun. Now this um, was a little bit more pricey um, and it's not something that you need at all. Actually, none of this stuff you actually need to be a successful teacher, um, but they are just, exciting things that I'm excited to have in my classroom. Um, but that is it guys. That is everything that I have, um, got for my classroom this year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you for my next one. Bye y'all.